What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic in y'all last episode another video. And um, you know, last couple weeks that you know Pacquiao, you know, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao put up a poll um to see you know who the fans wanted to fight. If the poll wasn't rigged, they picked Amir Khan. Um, you know, fight that I have been looking forward to for a while and wanted to see personally. You know, I know a lot of people wanted to see the fight. Uh, personally, because they both offensive, both used to train together. Um, Freddie Roach, Amir Khan, Virgil Hunter, trash talking build up would have been epic, but you know, Bob Aaron wasn't having it basically. They don't let Manny Pacquiao dictate his own career, that's against the golden rules of top rank. And, um, you know, basically, the UAE, you know, United Arab Emirates, uh, Emirates, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. Uh, again, didn't come up with the money for Pacquiao to fight in Dubai. Uh, you know, Michael Kahn said a backup plan was, uh, was the UK, London. Apparently, that wasn't true. Um, so, he's probably going to fight another in-house fighter. The top rank, I don't know. He fought them all already. They're probably going to find somebody else to go back to the Jeff Horn thing. Which Jeff Horn said all along, he didn't believe the bullshit about uh, Pacquiao fighting Kahn. So, they're probably going to go back to Jeff Horn. Um, I don't know where they're going to have that fight. It seems like they really wasn't pushing for Australia. So, uh, you know, you know who should they fight next? Um, you know, I know there's a big letdown for Amir Khan. He really wanted this fight. But like I said, they don't let Manny Pacquiao dictate his own career. And when he started to dictate his own career, they squashed him and showed him who was the motherfucking boss. But at the end of the day, Amir Khan, he has way more options than Pacquiao because... His manager and advisor has way more options at 147. The promoters he messed with has way more options at 147. And Pacquiao, I don't know. But as far as Mir Khan, you know, it's uh, four premium options. I mean, the most likely option would be him be fighting Adrian Broner. If Broner doesn't get Gratidos a rematch and Gratidos doesn't take the Terrence Crawford fight, um... I think that's a good fight for American, and I think Adrian Gratidos is a good fight for American. Um, for the simple fact that he needs to get back on the winning track and get back healthy and acclimated to 147 pounds. Um, basically, I seen an interview that uh, you know American said saying Keith Thurman wasn't shit, and uh, basically he feel confident about fighting Keith Thurman. I don't feel as confident as you know he does about fighting Keith Thurman. Um, I think Keith Thurman will knock him the fuck out. I think I know he hasn't been knocking out upper echelon opponents at this level, but American is the perfect remedy to get him back on a knockout trail for KOs for life. Um, you know, the Tim Bradley fight is a fight that people wanted to see. You know, they went back and forth trash talking for a point in time. American was with Golden Boy. Tim Bradley was with Gary Shaw. Tim Bradley got reeled in with Bob Arum. So that fight really never you know, articulated through the, through the Cold War. And you know that, you know, American is with Al Heyman now, and they said him and Bob has squashed it. But um, I really don't know, you know, if they really have squashed it. I know they have worked together the Dominic Wade fight and a couple more other fights they have worked together to make happen. But my whole point is that, you know, Bob Arum is putting, you know, cards on pay-per-view that's not pay-per-view. And at the end of the day, you know, he could be working with Al using the platform for BBC and putting some of his cards on there. But, you know, he's too managed and too uppity to, you know, want to work with Al Heyman. They're both Harvard guys. You think they have that Harvard connection uh, to put on fights, but it is what it is. Um, Sean Porter, that's another good fight. Um, aggressive, the style smashes. Um, Sean Porter can cut the ring down a little bit on American. He wouldn't roll out as much. Um, Khan, you know, could get worried about knocked out. Sean Porter has enough power to knock out Khan, but Sean Porter doesn't have this devastating knockout power of, uh, you know, Keith Thurman. You know, I think he doesn't even have the power up with, I give him better power than Broner at 147, even though Broner did, you know, knock him down. Um, you know, other options for Khan, you know, there's not a lot there. You know what I mean? I mean, Robert Guerrero's there. Um, uh, Sammy Vasquez just got knocked out, so he's no longer there. Uh, Felix Diaz is another good fight for him. 
Um, so we'll see, you know, pretty much where Khan wants to go at this point in his career. Um, then you have, you know, Manny Pacquiao, who's next for him. Um, all eyes turn to Terrence Crawford, to be honest. Um, that's the fight everybody wants to see. Pacquiao keeps screaming. His team keeps screaming that he's not a 147-pound fighter. Once you go down, fight Terrence Crawford. That's what everybody wants to see. Um, everybody believes in Bud. You know, Bud just, just got into an incident uh, the other night, you know, with his baby mama fighting his side chick in the parking lot. And he pulled out a gun. He brandished a gun, apparently. So we'll see where that go that comes to. And he's another young man who needs to get out of his hometown and move away. If his team is smart, they get Terrence Crawford out of Nebraska, move him to Vegas, California, somewhere like that on the West Coast where he gets away from the bullshit. Um, you know, but the, the fight that I hear a lot of people want to see that articulate is Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao. And that takes me back to the point where Al and Bob again. They don't want to hurt their cash cow in Manny Pacquiao, no matter how old he is. And if they do hurt him, they want him to be beat by a star under the top-ranked banner, not under, you know, Al Heyman's banner of PBC. They don't want to see Keith Thurman beat Manny Pacquiao. And it's so funny that Bob Arum would, you know, put that brand on Oscar De La Hoya by him saying the other day that Oscar doesn't want to risk his cash cow in Canelo versus Triple G. But you haven't wanted to risk your cash cow versus, you know, and Manny Pacquiao versus anybody not under your own banner. You even went out so far as to get $70 million and from invest investors to get Marquez to come out of retirement so Pacquiao can save face. You went so far as to, you know, speak down on Floyd Mayweather's name for many years and, and manipulate the media it seemed like he was the bad guy that he didn't want to fight. And in fact, when Top Rank didn't really want to fight at all, it wasn't Manny Pacquiao. They didn't want to risk Manny Pacquiao taking that fight into it. Made business sense where he was already knocked out and all he can do is gain notoriety. But then you have Adrian Broner. That's another fight that I don't think uh, Bob will mind putting him in there on because he's very confident that he will destroy uh, Adrian Broner. But they still never want to articulate that fight either. They want him to fight the same recycled, washed up fighters. So look for him to probably fight Jeff Horn. You know, somebody new, somebody easy, somebody that they can make money off of in Australia. And it better not be a pay per view card. It seems like HBO is really separating itself from top rank in the bullshit cards and fights they're putting on. So that's something to look forward to the future. Um, hopefully, Pacquiao chooses. Uh, the top three options and not a, a fighter like Jeff Horn or not another recycled fighter from top rank or hopefully Amir Khan finds a decent opponent.